Welcome back to Pub Mr. Channel. Today we will walk you through the fundamentals of a small-scale residential off-grid solar system. In this video, we will explore the value, design, configuration, and installation of such systems, helping you reduce electricity bills, achieve energy independence, and embrace a more sustainable, self-sufficient, and autonomous lifestyle. The importance of off-grid solar systems. Off-grid solar systems are essential for enhancing energy independence in daily life. When a grid fails due to various uncontrollable factors, appliances connected to an off-grid solar system remain unaffected. Continuing to operate using solar energy or stored battery power. Additionally. Solar energy, as an environmentally friendly and renewable resource, provides an inexhaustible power supply for household appliances, ensuring a sustainable energy source for remote areas where grid electricity is either unavailable or unstable. Off-grid systems combine energy production and storage capacities, offering a reliable power supply for your device. Designing a residential off-grid solar system. To design such a system, you first need to understand your energy needs and the solar irradiance conditions in your location. Start by listing all the appliances you intend to power, along with their power rating and the daily usage hours, to estimate your daily energy consumption. Then gather information on the average daily sunlight hours in your area, which can be obtained from local materials service or specialized solar resource websites. This helps estimate the total daily energy output required from your solar panels. Selecting components for the system. An off-grid solar system consists of several key components. Solar panel for generating electricity, solar charge controller for charging the battery bank, battery banks for storing energy, inverters for converting DC power into AC power usable by household appliances. In this system, solar panels capture sunlight and convert it into electricity. The charge controller stores the DC electricity from the panels into the battery bank. The inverter converts the stored energy into AC power as needed by household device. Solar panel sizing. If the estimated daily energy demand is 6,800 watt hour, divide it by the peak sunlight hours at your location to determine the required capacity of the solar array. Battery bank sizing. To configure the battery bank. Determine the system voltage and battery capacity. System with power rating of one to two kilowatt typically use a twelve volt system voltage. Two to five kilowatt systems usually opt for twenty four volt. Systems over five kilowatt often use forty eight volt or higher, which reduce current and minimize energy loss during transmission. For a one thousand eight hundred watt system. A 24 volt system voltage is a suitable choice. Divide the daily energy demand by 24 volt to estimate the battery capacity. It's recommended to add a 50% safety margin to this value to enhance system reliability. Charge controller configuration. Choose a charge controller compatible with your battery type, system voltage, and solar panel capacity. For instance. The Pol M80 Pro charge controller supports multiple system voltage and various battery types. For a 24 volt system, it can handle up to 1,920 watts for solar input, ensuring compatible with the battery bank and solar panels. Inverter selection. When selecting an inverter. Consider both power rating and system voltage. The power rating represents the inverter's maximum output capacity, which determines the total load it can handle simultaneously. 
The system voltage indicates compatibility with the battery bank. For example, the Pole LB 2.5K 24V inverter has a rated hour power of 2,500 watt, and is compatible with a 24V battery bank. It can handle loads with a total power not exceeding 2,500 watt. Installation and wiring considerations. Finally, prepare the necessary cables and protection device based on the maximum current values for each connection. For this system, solar input current maximum 27.9 ampere. Use 9 gauge cable and a 32 ampere DC circuit breaker. Control charging current maximum 80 ampere. Use 4 gauge cable and a 100 ampere DC circuit breaker. Discharge current, maximum 100 ampere. Use 3 gauge cable and a 120 ampere DC circuit breaker. AC output current, maximum 15 ampere. Use 11 gauge cable and a 20 ampere AC circuit breaker. We hope you enjoy the freedom, reliability, and sustainability that come with an off-grid lifestyle. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.